Now to the continued violence on Cleveland streets because tonight Cleveland police are looking for the gunman that shot a three year old boy as he rolled in the car with his mother. It's the latest in a string of shootings that wounded at least four kids in Cleveland. Just the last and that was just in the last week. So five on your side investigator Scott Knoll has the latest tonight from outside the Cleveland Police 4th District Headquarters. Scott. Investigators here say they don't know where that shot came from. A little boy shot in the hand just riding down the street. Investigators say that shooting happened just before 9 o'clock last night near the intersection of East 131st and Harvard. The three year old shot in the hand while riding in the car with his mother and another woman. They took the little boy to the hospital for treatment. Police now trying to figure out where that bullet came from. Just the latest in a string of shootings in a violence filled year in Cleveland that the co-founder of the nonprofit group Peace in the Hood calls heartbreaking. This is the madness. You Khalid know, Samad have, uh, says he hasn't seen this type of violence in Cleveland in decades. He says the mentality on the streets is downright dangerous. Shooting after shooting, leaving kids wounded or worse. His message, what's happening is real. This isn't just a video game. They think their life is just like this. You shoot them in the head. Oh, OK, turn the game back on. They'll come back. It don't, it don't work like that. He says now is the time for action, that the violence plaguing the city needs someone to step forward, to bring everyone together, to look for solutions. He says it's what happened in the early 90s with the city's gang summit and what has to happen now. You got a mosque down there, several churches around here, you know, but how do you ever get together to do things? The planning needs to be now for when the spring comes around, oh, it's going to be worse. A police spokesperson says investigators are looking to determine if last night's shooting is connected to another attack around the same time. In that case, a 24 year old woman was rushed to the hospital after she was shot twice. In Cleveland, I'm five on your side investigator Scott Knoll.